5 Exercises for Better Intimacy Intimacy can be simultaneously the most pleasurable and the most stressful experience that we share with another human being. It is a natural conclusion of the ritual of intimacy we engage in with a person we find attractive on both a physical and psychological level. Yet, we are far removed from our animalistic roots, and that which was once a matter of instinct has become somewhat complex. This is a good thing. We have grown as a society, and there are many factors involved when it comes to the relationship between intimate partners. However, we have also lost a great deal of the physical prowess our primitive ancestors had. They engaged in a huge amount of physical activities daily, activities that ensured their cardiovascular system and muscles were in great shape, which allowed them to have healthy intimacy, strong erections, and the muscular strength, limberness and endurance to maintain different positions for a long time without getting exhausted. Luckily, we can regain some of these animalistic traits with the right kind of training. Here are some essential exercises that will help improve your intimacy life. 1. Cardio for stamina. If you're out of shape, the first thing you'll notice during intercourse is that you start to breathe heavily, sweat profusely and tire easily. This means you'll have to shift your posture frequently and limit yourself to a few positions you feel comfortable with or significantly slow down the pace. A hive my has also been linked to potential problems with erectile dysfunction. Cardiovascular exercises like running, jumping rope, swimming and cycling will build up your aerobic stamina and enable you to perform longer before becoming fatigued, thus having better intimacy. They'll also help manage your weight, possibly helping performance. Running? 10 to 20 minutes a day, 1 to 3 miles a day is more than enough. Jumping rope? 5 to 20 minutes a day. Swimming? 30 minutes a day. Cycling? 30 minutes a day. The time in minutes denotes time spent actively performing the exercise, and you need to factor in a bit more time for warming up before and cooling down after the exercises. These exercises can be performed every day or every other day, and the goal is to work on both endurance and speed. Don't just go at a snail's pace, constantly try to improve your time or add some mileage. 2. Strength training for your lower body and core. The next thing you'll need to focus on is improving both the strength and muscular endurance of the hip flexors, abdominals and spinal erectors. These are the muscles engaged in thrusting and circular motions, and they also stabilize your body in a number of different positions. The legs also play an important role, particularly in standing and kneeling positions. Here are a few exercises that will help you strengthen up this area. Heavy barbell squats, set up at a power rack at the gym, and make sure you use proper form and weights that you can lift three to eight times. Do this exercise before anything else in the gym for four to five sets to get big and powerful legs, as well as tighten up the muscles of the core. This is useful for both men and women, particularly if you enjoy the woman on top positions and standing positions. You can do hack squats on the machine if your gym lacks a power rack, but you won't get the core strengthening benefits. Zercher squats. This type of squat is a perfect way for guys to strengthen their body for standing positions where the woman is lifted off the ground. Build up a foundation of strength first and then use lighter weights and go for 10 to 12 repetitions to focus on muscle endurance. Glute bridge. This exercise is great for working the glutes and hip thrusters and should be done for ultra high reps up to 100 to increase muscle endurance. Once you become stronger in this movement, you can upgrade to the barbell glute bridge and keep the reps high around 10 to 15. Hyperextensions, excellent for strengthening the spinal erectors, this exercise, or a variation of it, may be done in most gyms and even at home. Do 2 to 3 sets of 10 to 12 repetitions at the end of your workout. Ab wheel rollout, this is a great exercise for strengthening the abs and requires only a piece of inexpensive equipment. It will help you stay stable and hold positions longer without getting tired during intercourse. Do three sets of this workout for as many repetitions as you can. Cross body crunch. This exercise improves your ability to perform explosive twisting motions, particularly good for improving your stamina in the spoon position where you're lying on your side. Do two to three sets of this exercise at the end of your workout. Incorporate these exercises into your routine two to three times a week. Three. Upper body strength training. Upper body strength plays an important role in many popular intimacy positions where the arms are used to provide a stable base or hold onto the partner. These including missionary, doggy style, the stand and carry, with the woman holding onto the man's neck, and others. 
Use these simple exercises to improve upper body strength and endurance. Plank. While bench pressing is great for building a big chest, you will find yourself in need of static strength, muscle endurance and a strong core. This exercise is a great way to increase the amount of time you are able to hold positions that require you to support yourself with your arms. For added difficulty, straighten out your arms like at the top of a push-up and hold as long as you can. Close push-ups, a push-up variation that focuses on triceps, which are the first to give out during a prolonged missionary or similar position. Go for very high reps, 20 to 50, to work on muscle endurance. Chin-ups, a great upper back and biceps builder. This exercise will also target the core if you try to be as straight as possible when lifting yourself up. You can jump to help make things easier or just hold as long as you can if you aren't strong enough to perform a single chin-up. Do 3-4 to four sets for as many reps as you can. These exercises, done about 3 times a week, will help you develop a strong upper body that can keep going and hold you up for extended periods of time. 4. Pelvic Floor Exercises. You don't have to perform these at the gym, although you could do them after your workout without anyone even noticing. The idea behind Kegel exercises is to improve blood flow to the intimacy organs and strengthen the muscles of the pelvic floor in both men and women. By locating these muscles and tightening and relaxing them for intervals of 5 seconds for 10 to 15 repetitions at a time, several times a day, you can improve pleasure and performance during intimacy. Women can tighten their organ walls for increased pleasure to both them and their partner, while men can delay ejaculation by tightening these muscles. 5. Flexibility moves for legs and hips. If you want to avoid getting cramps, or even worse, pulling a muscle during intimacy, you should do a few simple stretches every day. The more limber you are, the more comfortable you'll be with more exotic poses. Here are a few simple stretches to improve hip and leg flexibility. Standing toe touch. Quad stretches. Hip flexor stretch. Groin and back stretch. Take a few minutes to warm up with some light running or jumping jacks before stretching and spend some 10 minutes on these stretches. You can do them in the morning and at night or shortly before intercourse. With just a few hours a week devoted to exercise, you can improve your intimacy life significantly. If you focus on these exercises, over time, you just might become dynamite in bed. Thanks for watching. Please help us create more content by supporting our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash You will instantly gain access to over 400 videos about billionaire biographies and over 140 personal development videos and over 180 Christian videos and over 450 verse and quotes images among other goodies. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, like this video, share this video, and subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to never miss another video. You can also check out our second channel, Discafeth. Link is in the description. Thank you and God bless you.